Congressman, I, I'm interested in in um, your sense of the the kind of broader impact uh, of the January 6th uh, committee's investigation uh, on the country beyond, you know, the the, the case that you're making against uh, Donald Trump, because it strikes me uh, that uh, that the, the, the release of the report, your findings is also coinciding uh, with uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, sort of a, a pretty profound weakening uh, in in Donald Trump's uh, uh, power and 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 kind of reputation, um, and and a, a little bit of a sense that the sort of fever has broken now. Clearly, the midterms midterm elections uh, probably has something to do with that. It may just be some level of exhaustion uh, with Trump. Um, but do you have a sense, or is there polling that you've seen, or anything um, uh, that that you can detect uh, that would tell you something about? Uh, the impact that 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 you all have had in terms of sort of the fever breaking in this in this country. It's a little bit of a, you know, subtle question, but I wonder if you have thoughts about that. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't really know the answer to that question. I believed all along that um, people would focus on the uh, extreme radicalism of the events that we experienced on January 6th and people would come to understand um, in time the absolute derangement that we've been living under. Um, look, the Constitution itself says in Section 3 of the 14th Amendment that anyone who is sworn an oath to support the Constitution and violates the oath by engaging in insurrection or rebellion shall never be allowed to hold federal or state office again, military or civil. That is a constitutional principle. So I hope that every textualist and originalist in the land will take the time to read Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and understand if you engage in insurrection, you're banned from holding office. The history of that provision is really interesting because the radical Republicans in the House started by saying anybody who participates in rebellion or insurrection should never be able to vote again, should be disenfranchised. And when it got over to the Senate, they said that sweeps way too far. It shouldn't apply to anybody who participated in the rebellion, only the people who had actually sworn an oath before to the Constitution. And even then, it shouldn't apply to voting. It should only apply to holding office again. In other words, this is the bullseye core of the meaning of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, what Donald Trump did. So if you look at our recommendation section, we say that we believe that this is self-executing. It's an automatic constitutional bar to hold an office, but we do think that Congress should act in order to develop a statutory mechanism for people getting into federal court and the DOJ getting into federal court in order to block people so we have a uniform nationwide solution to it. 